Hello, I'm Dave Way, Battleship Iowa's uh, curator and historian. I'm really honored to be uh, in this position after a long journey of being exposed to uh, warships, ocean liners, and their maritime history. Uh, when I was a young child, uh, I was always fascinated uh, in that subject matter. That led me to work on the Queen Mary for 11 years. And I've also been a member of the Naval Institute and Navy League and interfaced with the Navy periodically over the last 40 some years. I was one of the group that uh, helped rescue Iowa up in the port of San Francisco and also uh, part of the group that lived on board her for about nine months until we brought her down to uh, Los Angeles. And as I started collecting information, I noticed there was a lot of uh, facts, figures, and uh, stories that had not been really documented. So I was thrilled to dive in and do the research by going to the National Archives, and I obtained the World War II diaries and action reports, and they brought to light all kinds of information. For example, how many planes were shot down by Iowa during World War II. In addition, I grabbed the Korean War action reports uh, a topic or subject matter that nobody had really touched upon at all and there was a seven month period that had a daily entry about what Iowa was during, doing during that uh, conflict so that was documented as well. One of the biggest thrills was locating a photograph on eBay actually of President Roosevelt giving his farewell speech under turret 3 when he was returned from the Cairo and Tehran conferences. So we have that along the uh, tour route for people to view. The other facts and figures and artifacts we gather here after we document them, those are also uh, brought to light along our tour route uh, to share with the visitors as well. So we keep moving forward and discovering uh, many new things about Iowa's three commissioning periods.